how about the concept of uh, not watering your plants anymore and they themselves taking care of their water requirement yes uh, this is possible with the setup you see behind me it's called a uh, wick irrigation system this is more suited to people who grow plants on their terrace or uh, for whom uh, watering their plants daily is a difficult task this is one of my first projects and uh, i have got 50% subsidy from krishi bhavan for this so if you're staying in kerala uh, go check uh, with the nearest krishi bhavan in your region uh, for uh, any such schemes available in this video we will mainly focus on uh, building this setup the detailed discussion on its pros cons and uh, what could have been better is a topic for another video hey this is bharat your weekend farmer let's begin with the video I have designed this setup in a modular form uh, which lets us do any future changes. I have used uh, pipes of two sizes in this. One which is uh, 200 cm which goes along the length and uh, other is 100 cm pipe uh, which adds to the width to the system. I have used a uh, 3 inch pipe for this. Uh, you can uh, increase the pipe diameter based on your uh, reservoir requirement. is the pipe is mainly used for storing water so this is how the setup looks now to begin with uh, we had to level the whole uh, surface uh, this helps us uh, attain a flat surface better since we didn't have any level indicator uh, i connected the pipes in parts and uh, fed the water in each unit so this way we could uh, attain the flat level at least approximately attaining flat surface is very important as uh, we fill water in whole all the pipes if uh, So we didn't use any glue or such uh, because it all the fittings are pressure fit. This is to ensure that we can do any future modifications and in worst case scenario dismantle the whole setup and store it away. Setting up the whole uh, setup uh, in the same level uh, was a bit tedious task because uh, it's very important for us to attain a flat surface because we are storing the water in this and uh, we should ensure that the whole setup is in same level so the water gets uh, filled uniformly so this is how the setup looks uh, once most part of the pipes are connected i filled water in the whole unit uh, to ensure that uh, they are in the same water level a rough mark uh, inside the pipe you can see uh, it's all filled Now it's time to attach the remaining part. This is how the setup looks. Uh, this is the end cap uh, where we fill water. This is a, this whole unit is a closed unit and with the one provision to add water. This is how the whole setup looks once done. we managed to attain a uh, same level now it's time to mark the holes where we are going to drill it uh, this is an example of our 200 cm pipe there is three holes are drilled uh, in a uh, 200 cm pipe first one is marked at uh, 40 cm from one end so first uh, hole is marked here at uh, 40 cm from one end 
the next uh, goes 60 cm so it's at uh, 100 cm from one end so that's uh, 60 cm from the first hole next one is at uh, another 60 cm so that's at uh, 160 cm from the one end so and uh, 40 cm from here marks so the end of 200 cm pipe so totally three holes uh, will be marked uh, per 200 uh, cm pipe so first one is uh, at 40 cm from one end next is uh, 60 cm and another one again at uh, 60 cm from the previous one and that leaves us at uh, and the foot 40 cm from extreme end when it comes to the 100 cm pipe uh, we mark uh, it at the ex- exact center that's at 50 cm so this is how it looks the we'll drill a hole there here and uh, over here it we repeated the process for hole setup and uh, now it's time to drill i used a metal pipe with the diameter which matches with the wick of the setup so drilling hole this way was far easier than using a drill it was a quick process and uh, easier to do once done uh, this is how it looks we have made provisions for placing 25 grow bags so this whole unit uh, accommodates uh, 25 plants that was a minimum requirement uh, as per the scheme this is a grow bag we are going to use and uh, this is the wick this wick is made from glass wool so be very careful while handling them so this is how it is placed a part of the glass uh, wick is placed inside the tube which will be in contact with the water and the other half goes inside the grow bag so now it's time to mark uh, the provision for placing the wick each uh, grow bag has to be cut at the base so that we could insert the wick so i have roughly marked it make sure that we provide a proper provision for placing the wick so and then uh, half part of the wick will be inside the grow bag and the other half uh, will be inside that pipe we have to repeat this process for all the 25 grow bags we need uh, a support member for on either side of the uh, pipes i have used a uh, arconet tree here because we had it plenty in our farm so we you can even use uh, bricks as a support member under each grow bags but uh, i find that this is more economical than uh, buying bricks so this is how it placed on either side this gives uh, us a flat platform for placing grow bags this needs to be done for the whole setup this is just for a uh, demo a small part of is just of the pipe is just done so we have we getting a platform to place so this is a soil i have used bit of uh, sand and gravel uh, to mix uh, with the soil it gives us bit of porosity so once mixed uh, time to fill the grow bags uh. so we need to place the wick inside the pipe and uh, fill the grow bag so okay, 
I'm spilled. We fold the grow bag at the top because uh, this gives us uh, space uh, or uh, extra room for uh, adding the fertilizer later. So once done, uh, make sure uh, the wick is not visible outside. Uh, this needs to be done uh, for all the remaining bags. This is how the setup looks uh, four months later. All these plants are around uh, four months old. I'm seriously impressed uh, by the result. Planted few chili plants in between. So I've been experimenting this uh, with a few other plants now. So now coming to the point uh, where we add water. So this is how it looks now. Water is pretty low. Now it's time to add water. This ring you see here, uh, it uh, levels with this. So whenever I add water, I add it to this level. So if, if I add water more than that, uh, it start, uh, water starts overflowing here with the holes drilled. Now I'll be adding water to the level I had earlier mentioned. First remove this cap and uh, fill water. Uh, come closer. You can see the water is uh, now full as mentioned to this level. It marks uh, the kind of reservoir is full. So let's uh, close the cap to ensure that uh, nothing gets inside and uh, blocks the whole system. That would be the last thing you would uh, want to happen. The plants you see behind me are having their second generation branches. I have conducted a much set of experiments when it comes to pest control or fertilizing these plants. I will be discussing all those in the upcoming videos. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel on your way out. If you have any questions regarding this video, do let me know in the comment section below. I will try answering them. So that's all for today's video. Thank you for farming with me today. See you all in the next video. Till then take care. Jai Hind.